Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to the weekend vlog. Not just any weekend, it's bank holiday weekend. So here in the UK we actually get a bonus day, we get the Monday off as well, which is just lovely. It's currently Sunday. I did have yesterday off of the vlog because we had a family day. We went to the seaside. It was a bit wet, a bit drizzly, but it was lovely nonetheless. We went up to Hun Stanton to see family and my aunt who's got a lovely little puppy. I'll put a picture of her in, Jojo. She was so cute. Such a gorgeous puppy. And you guys know I could spend my whole life with puppies. So yeah, I'm gonna film across the next two days and just take you guys along to whatever we get up to. Today, we're off to a little food festival in Suffolk, which should be a lot of fun. It's about 10 o'clock currently, and this morning, I'm feeling as fresh as a daisy. I think a mixture of yesterday, seaside air, and then I had a really early night and slept so well has done me the world of good so i'm ready and raring we're gonna get going i need to go get paisley ready and then we are off it's been a busy bee on vintage again so i also need to get these parcels sent off today i'm going to take them to the petrol station on the way out we've made it to berry to edmunds and they've literally just opened the slim chickens here which is delicious it's literally like um chicken guy at disney springs so this slim chickens and my old time bay next door to one another it's gonna make all my chicken dreams come true. We're actually here for a food festival though, so I don't know if I'll get either. I've accidentally fell into River Island and there's such a good sale going on. And that's the best thing about going away at the time of year I do, because all like the summer clothes are on deal. And we did get you some new sliders, didn't we? Five pounds, baby. Snazzy. Hey! Oh, that was fast! <laughs> This is really cute. It's like a little beach area with sand castles and everything and these little deck chairs. So I've just sat here, played playing in the sand. And when it's bank holiday, I always generally just put in like Google, fun things around me and then things come up. So this is a food festival and family day in Barry St Edmunds. So should be here for a few hours and it should be a lot of fun. Just in Smiggle, which is Pacey's favorite shop and all the back to school stuff is on deal now, which is really good. We've got all of ours, but um, if you haven't, there's some really good deals to have. A lot of it's like 20% off or 25% off. And that stuff's so nice. I've just been in Claire's accessories. Come out. I was going to show you what Rob got. His barbecue steak chimichurri baguette. I've but been busy. he's been busy, and what he's got. It's really good, though. Is absolutely nothing left. <laughs> raining so of course I've come to Slim Chickens there wasn't a lot of the food fest for me it was all a bit um, flavoursome for my liking so yeah here at Slim Chickens it's really busy in here but it looks awesome would it be a bank holiday I've just been running out in the rain <laughs> but would it be bank holiday in Britain if we didn't get rained off we just got absolutely soaked didn't we baby girl yeah but it is a bank holiday it's bank holiday weekend so we're having a car picnic because we we're gonna sit outside and eat it but obviously that's not happening now it's still drizzling and wet so yeah Rob's got that actually looks really good Rob's got a chicken pad thai from a little Thai street food thing yeah, really which looks good. lovely doesn't it that's yeah, such a cute really as well yeah it's a popular one Paisley had McDonald's and has now got slime. <laughs> Hook the duck. And I've got my slim chickens, which looks amazing. And I love the garlic bread piece that they That's give different. to you. It's so different, and isn't my it? Mommy yummy. All the way from the cookie shop. To the, the chicken way shop. To the beginning of the what? of the shops. Yeah, we, the shops. we couldn't stand in the rain forever. We had to run for it, didn't we? Let's eat. We're back. We are home. We are definitely a bit 
drowned rat like but never mind it's fine it's actually quite a bit later now i've been doing some um housework and stuff i've got wash load on trying to get bits and pieces done like so i've not got to do the massive clean this weekend because i just like to break it up a bit it makes it a bit more enjoyable and a bit easier but yeah i'm just putting things away that we bought and i thought i'd show you guys what we got so not a lot to be honest well nothing really because we weren't there for shopping we were there for like the fun stuff that was going on and the food festival rob said he loved both of his dishes that he had by the way especially the pad thai he said that was a really good call and slim chickens was lovely as always it's not a contender to nando's for me like nando's will always have my heart i love it so much i have done ever since i first had it when i was a teen it will always be my fave so yeah but slim chickens is good it's good to have another chicken option for fussy eaters such as myself but yeah i got a little necklace from claire's accessories because evidently i'm a teenager that just says taurus there that was eight pounds and basically i just needed a little necklace that's going to sit right here for when i wear tops like this because this one dangles right down so i just need a little one it's going to sit here i have got some tiffany ones but i don't i just don't really like them anymore i'm kind of over the tiffany keys so i wear a claire's accessories Taurus one instead and that will be excellent but yeah I, I like being a Taurus I like star signs so I don't know but I just quite like that one so happy with that choice I've got a dress which I'll show you in a minute which is actually for Minions Land at Universal Studios because I'm starting to outfit plan for Universal and then Paisley bought with her pocket money a foodie mini brands and I hope this is good bless her because she used her own pennies on it 16 quid for mini brands which is a bit a bit much really considering they're just literally like little food things i'll show you guys when she opens it later unbox ultra rare frozen moment minis carlos jr iced coffee we'll see and then a water bottle from smiggle because she loves them i've said here before that they're really good water bottles she likes it when it has the mister on which this one does have a mister in there she's got one for school already that matches her bag and stuff but yeah it's just good to have a backup because they don't actually last that long i think it's because you fill it right up and it's quite a big water bottle and then when it hits the floor when she inevitably drops it they then crack straight away because they're heavy and full of liquid but yeah it's good to have one and she wanted squirty one so that's fine and they were all on offer as well so a bit of a bargain i need to chill out a bit but first let me show you this dress and then I've got to change the bed because I got a new bed set the other day, which was in a sale as well. And it's one I've had my eyes on for a while in um, Habitat in Sainsbury's. That's the danger of going to Sainsbury's. Like the clothes area and the home area are both actually really nice. So it's always a temptation. But then I saw this bed set on sale and I was like, no, now is the time. I'm actually going to get it before it goes away. And I'm hoping it goes with the room and the aesthetic in here quite nicely. But we shall see. So here's the dress, I got it from River Island, um, meant to be £45 down to £20 and it's from the Sun Shop, River Island on the beach. And it's just got quite a nice shoulder line obviously with this layer going round and the lace there as well. It's ruched around the middle and then it's like quite long, just quite pretty and yellow for Minions Land. It's perfect, I'll be a big banana. Banana! Here's the bed set. It's like tropical, but like the greens and the pinks and um, yeah, just all the colours that will go quite nicely in this room, I'm hoping. Should I do a three, two, one and a bit of a David and Ian style click? So three, two, one. Look at that. I think that looks really smart, actually. I'm quite impressed with that and it's reversible. So the other half is like this pink colour with the green like leaf design on. I like that. I think it goes really nicely with the pink paint and the green plants and stuff. So yeah well happy so i'm actually off down the gym now i've done all my jobs and i just need to get this gym done because if i sit down i'll be sat down like for good because i'm tired that new bed looks so inviting and i could easily climb in get paisley get the popcorn put a film on but i need to get this workout done first just because i haven't been in this few days and it's like imperative so i'm gonna do that now and then find someone to watch, I suppose. I don't even know what is on. Like, we've watched all our shows. If you guys have got any good recommendations of, like, TV shows or series, let me know in the comments below and we'll definitely check them out. The benefit of coming down to the gym on a Sunday evening. Absolutely empty. Gosh. Just kept it to a quick 40-minute workout. Yeah, some slime and hope we dark, didn't you? So, we go. we're playing with that. Uh-huh. Watch how good it clicks. Oh, it's a very clicky slime. What are you watching? Like Minecraft. This. 
Yeah, JJ and Mikey. Nice. You Mommy should try it, it's really good. Mommy, poke it. Uh, okay. Ew! And it's better than normal. Uh, yeah, it's quite a nice slime right, actually. Excuse the noise, you can probably hear Pacey's bath running. But we have made the best marble run this afternoon. They're actually so tricky to do because they're so flimsy, they just like fall apart. But this one, we've done a great job. Hey guys, happy Monday. It's Monday, it's a bit strange, isn't it? Because mm -hmm. it's a bank holiday. It feels a bit, feels like Sunday. I only just said happy Sunday. But today, we are up and at them and we're heading to, what is it, Rob? Malden? Yeah. Malden Promenade, which is like a splash pad, a park, a petting zoo, crazy golf. Mm -hmm. I've never been, you've never been, but mm -hmm. we've been looking at it online this morning and, and it looks my good. Swimming costume yep. under my we're no, I'm eating, also eating my mum's breakfast. <laughs> I've just picked the camera up, put my frosties to the side, the dry, dry frosties, I haven't got any milk on them, don't know why, but yeah, and Paisley started munching them, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> you monkey. But yeah, we're going to go have a day of fun, the sun's shining, so hopefully it doesn't change, because the last two days it's been sunny and gorgeous, we've driven somewhere, and then started hammering it down, so fingers just crossed. Just like yesterday, yesterday was wet, and the day before. Yeah, we're gonna go and we're gonna have some fun. You ready? Yeah! So we've made it to Molden and the. Uh, hello! <laughs> hello, cheeky! There's a little bit of traffic, well, quite a lot of traffic actually, because there's a um, smoke and fire festival, which says it's like the UK's biggest bar barbecue festival, doesn't it? Um, I don't think we can do that because it's like coming up for one o'clock and yeah, most of the day is gone and it's like 30, 40 pounds for us all to get oh, in. So. Eating There's an eating contest, yeah. But it's hot wings and I can't remember what the other one was, but I, yeah, I am a good eater though. I can eat a lot, so do you want to do it? No. No. I Would you? Do it. <laughs> we could be beard versus food. Unknown caller. <laughs> we've made it. What should have been like an hour has taken two hours. The time we've spent in this car this weekend has been mad. We might as well move into it. But we can see the fun. Can't smell the barbecue yet. Yeah? It's, it's gonna hit us, isn't it? We're gonna get so hungry when we saw that. <laughs> right, we're finally here and out at the Molden Promenade and it actually looks really cool, so I'm glad it's like worth the pain and torture that it was to get in here because it actually took another like 40 minutes. There's a petting zoo, there's adventure golf, splash pad, park. Who? Oh, raccoon! I love raccoons. Large tortoise. There's a skunk Skunk. Parrots, pigs. Chinchilla. This looks so cool, doesn't it? I think, did you want to go to the splash pad first? Yes. Come on then, you. Pacey is now in the splash pad, which is actually really quite a cool splash pad. Obviously can't show you guys because it's got like loads of kids in it. Um, but it's £2.50, you have to book a time. We did not know that. We didn't do any research, evidently, why we've come on the, like, the most busiest day ever with the barbecue festival. But the lady just booked her in like as we checked in, so that's fine. Paisley is absolutely obsessed with splash pads at the moment, so this is perfect. I've got to convince Rob to let us go to the barbecue festival. He thinks it's wasteful because like, we haven't got long, but we've come all this way. We were in all that line, so I definitely think we should go to the barbecue festival and eat some barbecue food. It did look fun, so watch your space. Right, she had a lot of fun in there. We've just got warmed up and sorted. But and I'm squeezing. I yeah. don't want you to go in there. My hands are still Your hands are still cold. quite cold, aren't they? It's freezing cold. <laughs> freezing cold. Um, I'm well impressed with this place. I just like all food places, ice cream, chips. It's like a boat promenade thing to walk There's along. Crabbing. crabbing, loads of dogs, all sorts. I can't believe we've never been here, but it's really good. It's world smart. Loads of different food places, like pizza, face painting, all sorts. Can you have a little look at the view, are you, darling? We're here at the Smoke and Barbecue Festival. £20 for a family ticket, which I didn't think was too bad, considering there's like loads of stuff going on. It's going to be quite a few hours worth of fun, I think. There's loads of good dogs actually here. But we're going to head up to Barbecue Alley and see what we can see. Barbecue Alley. So here's where the chilli eating contest would be. I wonder how we... Um, find out what time's that on because that'd be quite funny to watch that wouldn't it people eating spicy spicy chili peppers <laughs> should we try and watch it got all the um snazzy barbecues for sale we didn't think we'd be barbecue shopping when we first came out today but loads of them <laughs> how funny barbecue alley 
was more buy the barbecue than eat the barbecue food so the food's more like in the middle but <laughs> I think we've seen every barbecue under the sun there's a kid zone with like some rides and rock climbing and stuff so I think we're gonna head over there home of the fire cage it's kind of crowded here but I know you see me too everybody's singing oh everybody's singing oh Grabbing some lunch, I'm going for um, sausage, like hot dog and chips. But the smell of barbecue with all these stalls is insanely good. Everything smells amazing and looks so, so yummy. And then there's loads of rides over there for us to go and try after, isn't there? <laughs> Got me a little hot dog and fries. Rob's gone to get his. Um, you're not hungry yet, are you, darling? No. So I'm gonna go on the ride, then I might be hungry. And you might but, be hungry. Um, um, I think Rob's gonna ha have to let me go in his socks because I'm gonna go on the bouncy castles. Yeah, <laughs> we haven't got any socks on yet, boy. Woohoo! For a chimichurri burger. Which stand was that from? Did you see? Oh, that one. That was like the main one, wasn't it? These chips, by the way, are so good. It's like a very, very seasoning. You can share these if you want, babe. We've got a very questionable looking LOL surprise character. Oh, that's questionable with the next one. Handler. Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> I think he looks better than that one. <laughs> We couldn't come here and not go to the petting zoo because guys you know how much I love like little animals and large animals and just all of animals really so you get to actually handle them here I think you get to hold a skunk so this is going to be super cool I think it was like just under 30 pounds for the three of us and for the feed as well for the llamas and goats and those guys so yeah very excited let's go get that dino <laughs> Nice tortoise catching the rays under his lamb. Oh, hi! Hi, gorgeous bright parrots. You nice. Oh, they're right in there, do you reckon? Hello. Don't frighten him. Hello. Look at your lovely feathered feet. You can see the pig now. Hello, darling. Is so soft. Is he soft? Hi. Hey, oh. hey sweetie pie. Give it some food. Are you hungry? Yes. Yes, I am. Oh. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> you greedy little goose. You're greedy little goose. Oh. You're very hungry, are you? Are you very hungry? Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> you like that, darling? Don't no, not wait. You're being greedy. You are being greedy. Wait. <laughs> nice, kind boat. Charlotte's making friends again. This is weird. You are so kind. Um, the three youngest are very, very cheeky. Um, they bite people's toes and things like that. Um, they're turning into the three musketeers. They're probably all... Oh, we just... Um, literally, we just saw a falcon. A tarantula. No, not a tarantula. A tarantula's coming. Hi, sweetheart. Look at you. What do you think, babe? Is he nice? Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Oh, really soft. Have you got hold of her tight enough, sweetheart? She's lovely. Isn't she nice? She's heavy. Just this bit. She is quite weighty. Just shout at me. And we'll move her, alright? Just keep your hands perfectly still for me, alright? Oh my goodness. Can I take no, of course I can. No, no, what did you no. say you want her off? You did well, sweetheart. That petting zoo was adorable, tiny, but it said like 80% of those animals were rescued and it was quite personable, like getting to meet them all and touch them. Pacey held a tarantula, which is just crazy. I couldn't even look at it. And we've got an ice cream. Pardon? You have my sweeties? Yeah, I've got your sweeties. Ending the day with a good old fashioned Mr. Whippy. Yeah. <laughs> And play. Yeah. 
We also have crabbing here, which is so cool. I've never actually done it and really want to. So we'll be back because we didn't get a chance to do the park either, but we thought it made more sense to do the barbecue festival because that won't be here next time, will it? And these things will. So I've really liked it here at Malden Promenade Park. It's lovely. Inherited an ice cream. Yeah, Paisley's ice cream lasted two seconds because the wasp came. <laughs> but <laughs> bless her. And we are back home. Literally, the way home took like an hour, just a few minutes more. So the way there was definitely a bit of a fluky nightmare because of all that traffic for the um, Barbecue and Fire Festival, which was really good, by the way. I'm so glad we stumbled across that. Hi, Bren. He's just come and sat down next to me, haven't you, old boy? But yeah, just got Paisley up to bed and we're going to sit and chill. I'm hopeful that Celebs Go Dating is going to be on. I haven't actually checked. Um, should be on because it's a Monday, but it's bank holiday, so sometimes it's a bit different, isn't it? But I will go away. <laughs> I'll have a little look. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the weekend vlog this weekend. We have had a really good one, actually. I'll definitely go back to Malden. I like that a lot. I've just got one more job to do today, and that's to sit down and do um, some notes for a collaboration that I've got coming up. It's with Trip House, who are Florida specialists, and they book, like, villas, car hire attraction tickets, and I'm doing a bit of work with them for um, Halloween Horror Nights. So I just need to make some notes on what I've got to film later on in the week so that I'm like prepared. I'll show you a little bit of behind the scenes actually while we're here guys. So this is my PR box that I've received from Trip House and it's got these lovely, lovely little sugar cookies in. Look at these and because it's Halloween Horror Nights we're collaborating on. I've got a gorgeous pumpkin and a spooky sign for me and Paisley, they're going to be delicious and they're such a nice touch that they've included. I've then got like my mock ticket, which I'm going to be using for my announcement. And just some information as well. So Trip House are a family owned Florida specialist company and they've got over 20 years experience. And they do a whole range of things like villas, um, holidays, attraction tickets, excursions, car hire, cruises, packages, flights, weddings, all sorts. And I have got a £50 off code as well, which I'll link the details for down below. But yeah, I'm super excited to be working with Trip House and I'll be putting the full announcement over on my Insta later this week. I kind of want to eat that cookie now I've got it out but I can't because I need it for um for filming <laughs> but yeah I'm gonna go now guys I'm gonna call this one a day as I say I hope you've enjoyed it I hope everybody else had a really lovely look at that tail his little tail just flickers away I hope you all had a lovely lovely bank holiday the last one now until Christmas which is kind of crazy years flying come here darling bye guys yeah, take care of yourself, everybody, and I'll see you real soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>